Hello, fourth grade. How are you today? Mr. McAuliffe here again, coming to you from your classroom here at St. Margaret's to read to you once again this week, as I've been doing the last several weeks that we have been physically out of the building. The book that I have chosen for this week is kind of a funny story, but it does have a message in it. And the message is particularly applicable um, during what we have recently been going through, being at home and learning from home and trying to, and, and having to stay home and, and um, not really being able to do a whole lot. Sometimes it affects us emotionally and mentally um, and we kind of get down or maybe get a little grumpy. Um, so that's what this book is about. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will go ahead and read it to you this morning from your classroom. So the title of this book is called The Grumpy Monkey. It's written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. Hmm. Suzanne Lang and Max Lang. I think maybe a husband, wife, author and illustrator, or maybe brother, sister. Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy, Jim Pansy, woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas, they were too sweet. Jim was all confused. What's going on, he thought. Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman the gorilla from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look it, does he? On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Well, why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Marabou. Today's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched over. So Jim loosened up a little bit. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you so grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. Your eyebrows, they're all bunched up like this. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile instead. And finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. But Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said all the monkeys. But Jim, a monkey himself, didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim just didn't feel like strolling. Then you should lie in the grass, said lion. Or you should stomp your feet, said elephant. You should take a bath, said hippo. And make a splash, said otter. 
You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should do a dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of those things. Why are you grumpy, Jim asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, Jim shouted as he beat his chest. And off he stormed, all grumpy. Jim started to feel sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched, and he was frowning. What's the matter, Norman? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, said Norman. I danced with a porcupine. Not, not a good idea. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy, Jim? Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. But for now, I just need to feel grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. And he already was beginning to feel a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. So, you know, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes we do feel grumpy. And it's okay to feel grumpy sometimes, right? From time to time. It's probably not a good thing if we're grumpy every day. But if you find yourself grumpy once in a while, that's all right. It's natural especially when we're going through difficult times, kind of like we're going through now. So don't be sad or be mad or feel that you shouldn't feel grumpy, as long as you know you're grumpy. Because just like Jim said, eventually I'll start feeling better, but right now I just need to feel a little grumpy. I hope you guys are all doing well and getting your work into Miss Rosier so that she knows that you are, she knows what, she knows that you know what you need to know uh, at the end of fourth grade, getting ready for fifth grade. Take care of fourth grade. I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, please remember, be safe, be healthy, and be strong. Bye-bye, fourth grade.